Hi guys and welcome to Get Your Views and to this review of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So, I just can and can't come to do this TV show reviews. I promise that I will since the beginning on this channel and all I did so far were Zero War Princess reviews, How I Met Your Mother, kind of like something like this. I think that like maybe they are just those two reviews. Uh, and now I want to talk about Angels of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, so, so far, so far the first season wasn't that good. I mean, there are a lot of things it's jo in Joss Whedon's TV shows that are lacking uh, a lot of uh, character uh, depth and character delivery in the way that the, the characters are in emotional connection with the story and how this story and those characters are presented to you and how you connect with those characters because I personally just can't really connect with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s characters I mean when, when something is happening sometimes you feel it, sometimes you care about the characters sometimes, sometimes you just don't because um, they force you uh, to think uh, they just act like uh, uh, all the emotions are forced and you, and you are supposed to care or something but you just can't do it because the delivery of all the acting although those are very good actors, all of them it's just kind of fake and artificial everything kind of is kind of forced and artificial in this show so I like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to watch like casually to see just what is happening because it is a part of the Marvel Universe but as a TV show, as a quality of a TV show, I don't think is quite there yet I mean it's really 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 lacking emotional impact and it's really a want to but it just can't go there and so the first season was kind of mediocre not really something super amazing and on the second season uh, I read some news that it started strong but it just started like uh, all the vibe from the first season was which is normal in a way but what they did so they bring uh, so they brought my favorite actress of all time Xena I mean Lucy Lawless and she played uh, an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. that was kind of a veteran agent she was cool, strong, she, know, uh, she knew what she is doing but um, what they did, they killed her off at the end of the episode for the emotional impact, for the effect of what they trying to set up um, as a vibe of uh, what is coming to the season they just killed her off and so what did Lucy Lola say about this? Well, she said that she could come back. I mean, nothing is for sure, although uh, when you look at in um, imbd.com, uh, you can see that she is so far active in just this one episode. Uh, so they might not bring her back. But what is the point to bring such a huge actress, I mean established uh, actress in these action roles and just kill her off in the first episode? just to make an emotional impact on the viewer uh, if you're not already invested in Angels of S.H.I.E.L.D. just because it's Marvel, just because you, you want to know what is behind the scenes when uh, we're not seeing the movies and Captain America and all those stuff yeah, you probably will leave that show anyway so I'm not sure but they just decided to maybe bring more people that way but this totally put me off, I mean I really want her to be back and to use her in the right way. Uh, so guys, this is my review uh, so far of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as a TV show. Uh, if I have to give some kind of a rating, I say that uh, from 0 to 10, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is kinda... maybe 6. Yeah, it's not exactly 5, it's a 6. You can just... you can still watch it and... Uh, be interested in what is happening in it. They even brought back uh, the agent uh, from Captain America 1, I mean the woman that he was starting to get in love with and she also and so on. I forgot her name um, but she was in it in this episode and she was awesome. But really what they did with Lucy Lawless was, was ridiculous so crossing fingers that she's going to come back and just show a little bit of Xena with a gun, but still 
it's awesome. It's just awesome to hear her voice in general and to see her on the screen. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you'd like to help, you can share this video, rate, comment and subscribe. Until next time with Gary G Reviews. Bye guys.